Hello everyone and welcome back to Certified Collectibles. We have a really cool video in store today. So we recently purchased a vintage group of Atari 2600 and 7800 video games, all still factory sealed, mostly mint condition. This is our next submission to WADA Games. We're going to have all these graded. So today what we're going to do is go through our submission, kind of pre-screen them here on camera. In about four or five weeks when we get them back from WADA Games, we'll have an unboxing and see how close we were to the grades they actually give us. We're going to grade both the packaging and the the seal which is what wada would do so we have a group of atari 2600 and a group of atari 7800 we have about 30 40 games here to, to go through uh, we try to limit our submission to about 30 games or 40 games a month just with all the other inventory we have coming in it's just manageable at that level so about every month or so we send in about 30 40 games so we can do this every month if you guys like it if you do please leave us a comment in the comment section below let us know how you like the video and there'll be more of these in the future so let's get into it i'm actually going to put on a pair of latex gloves because i find that uh over the years i'm prone to dropping these uh, and damaging the corners so this isn't actually to keep the uh fingerprints off of them because you know at this point, they've been handled for 20, 30 years. So we're not worried really about any kind of fingerprints or oil from our skin getting on the cellophane. We're more worried about them slipping out of our hands and falling on the floor and damaging the corners. So that's why I'm doing this. So let's get started. We have pole position. Now, everybody remembers playing this for the Atari 2600. It was one of the original paddle games. This particular copy... Still factory sealed. A couple of dings here in the foil and uh, in the wrap, in the seal. The back is has a little curvature to it here where the cellophane has pulled it. Uh, there's quite a few dings in the cellophane. We're thinking maybe an A, maybe a B plus seal. Uh, nine, nine four nine six on the on the packaging. Oh, this is actually pretty cool. We bought two. In this past deal, we bought two six-pack cases of video of games. One of the titles was Asteroids. We'll get to the other one in a moment. So we picked out a few of the best out of that particular six-pack case to send in to Wada Games. So this is Asteroids. This is one of the six-pack cases. We picked out four of these, I believe. This particular copy looks, the box looks fantastic. No holes in the corners. A lot of times the corners will poke through the cellophane and that actually decreases your grade pretty substantially with corner pokes is what they're called you know i don't see any holes any pokes uh there's one teeny little hole here uh let's say a let's say 9.8 a a 9.8 a grade this one here you know that hole may have been a stretch hole from when they originally put the cellophane on Sometimes they'll have a series of holes going down them. These were kind of breather holes when they put the cellophane on originally so that they wouldn't swell on the store and air could get out. So if WADA counts those as breather holes, then it might get an A plus on that other one. So let's say A plus 9.8 on that one. On this one here, teeny bit of curvature in the packaging, if you could see. But otherwise, mint condition, let's say 9.6 A plus. This box here looks fantastic. Once again, a couple little teeny breather holes here. No corner pokes or anything like that, though. Let's say 9.6A+. Now, like I said, if they count these as breather holes and not actual tears in the cellophane, they might all be 9.8s. So let's hope that they count them as breather holes because a 9.8 would be a great grade to get. This one here, if you could see... There is a teeny little, it's not smashed per se, it's where the cellophane pulls the box um, over time. It, it's not crushed, but it definitely gives it a tiny crease. It's difficult to get anything above a 9.4 when that happens, so let's say 9.4 A plus on that. Okay, let's get into the next title that we got a six-pack case of. Here you go, Joust. Now, everybody remembers Joust. This was for the Atari 2600. Once again, seal on this is perfect. You know, there's three holes in here. These are breather holes. Uh, so let's hope that uh, WADA gives us that designation as well. Not a designation, but let's hope that they agree with us on that. 
you know, these are all hang tabs. I don't know if you guys can see the hang tabs here. They're all hang tabs. You know, there's not a scuff on this package. Um, I would say nine, six or nine, eight, uh, a plus on that. This one here, once again, those three, uh, this three or four breather holes down the same spot. So that's what they are breather holes. So I won't mention them anymore. Um, if I see them again, box is perfect. No dents, no dings. I would say nine, eight, a plus. The other one may be nine, eight as well. Like I said, if they give us, if they count those as all breather holes for the cellophane, they'll all be nine, eights. Uh, this one here maybe has a little teeny ding here on the edge that might take it down a notch. Oh, it has a crease here on the bottom. If you see this crease, that will take it down. This crease on the other side too. <clears throat> Let's say nine, four on that. Yeah. Nine, four could be a nine, two, a plus on the seal. This one here also has a crease here. Other than that, the seal is great. A plus on the seal. Uh, let's say, no, oh, there's a scuff. You won't be able to see it. There's a scuff, uh, an abrasion scuff across the cellophane. It's not torn or anything, but it's an abrasion scuff. Uh, eh, nine, four, A plus. Like I said, they may knock that down to a nine, two. Oh, we do have one more joust. Well, I guess we picked five out of that pack. So. This one here, same little, little teeny abrasion on the, on the cellophane here, but that really won't matter too much if the box is in great condition, which it is. I would say nine, six, nine, eight on that. No damage to the corners, no creases in the corners, no crushes. So I would say, let's say nine, eight on that one. Maybe they're all nine eights, who knows? It all depends how they feel over at WADA that day. This one here is a, <laughs> here you go. Taz for the Atari 2600. I don't know how many people played this game. I don't remember this when I was a child and I played Atari pretty extensively. So this came out in 1983. Uh, like I said, I don't remember this game. So I don't know how rare it is. I haven't seen any more on the market, but it was in this deal. So we're going to send this to water as well. There is a slight crush mark on this side of the packaging. The seal is perfect. No holes in it. Let's say a plus on the seal and let's say nine, four because of this. Keep it on with the Atari 2600. Everybody remember centipede. This was actually an arcade port. So everybody played this at the arcade as well. Back then, this has a pretty noticeable tear here in the back cellophane. That'll take it down. That might even knock it down to a B seal. There's also an abrasion here on the front. I'm thinking maybe nine, two on this one. Also ripple, the back is wavy. Once again, I think the cellophane has pulled it tight. So the back waves, there's no damage to it. It's not water damage or anything like that. It's just uh, a little wavy. Let's say nine, two B plus seal on that. All right. Space Invaders, red box edition. This here looks, there's a teeny little bump here on the bottom. If you can see, other than that, the seal is perfect. There's a little teeny pull here. This is kind of a tension pull in the cellophane. Uh, it's a, a minute hole, but it might knock it down on the seal rating. Let's say a seal on that. They, they'll, we'll discount that because of the uh, little teeny hole there. Let, oh, this is what I was talking about on the corner pokes. I don't know if you can see this, but there is a corner poke here where the corner is poked through the cellophane. Let's say A or B plus on the seal. Other than that, I say nine, six. Mousetrap, red box edition. Once again, don't remember playing this one. So I don't know how many of these are out there. I don't know how many people bought this one back in the day and kept it sealed, but seal is in good condition. There's a teeny tension hole here from on the cellophane. But other than that, uh, there's also a little teeny uh, crease here in the box. So I'd say nine, six, nine, four. There's a, there's a bump in the corner here. Let's say nine, four, uh, A, nine, four, A. The Akara Warriors. 
this here box is in great condition. I don't see any damage to the back. Don't see any damage to the front. No holes in the, the cellophane. So I'm thinking this was probably a 9.8, let's say A plus or A plus plus. The seal ratings are a little tougher to guess when you're sending these in as far as how you get the A plus or the A plus plus. This one here is Roadrunner for the TARG 2600 red box edition. Back of the box is great. Front of the box is great. Seal is perfect, except this here. Big tension hole on this side. So that's definitely gonna knock it down to, you know, an A or B, B plus. So I would say Roadrunner, I'd say 9.6, because of that hole and the size of it, I'm gonna say B, 9.6 B. Okay, we're almost done with our Atari 2600 stack here. We're gonna get into the Atari 7800 after that. Here is Junior Pac-Man. A lot of people didn't play the Junior Pac-Man. Um, came out later in the cycle after Pac-Man, of course, and Miss Pac-Man. So this one kind of got a little left behind. There wasn't near as many of these sold as the other two. But let's take a look. Um, big ripple in the box here where it's dropped. So that's gonna knock it down. Bump here on the side. Um, crease on the front same from that same damage when the, it was dropped. And that kind of that could have actually been from the original case pack when it, it was mishandled when it was originally delivered back in the 80s. I don't see any damage to the cellophane though. No holes, no tension pulls, no pokes. So I'm thinking A plus or A plus plus on the seal and nine, maybe a nine, maybe eight five. Maybe an A5 on that because of the damage here. I'm not, I don't have high hopes for that one. Okay, the last Atari 2600 out of this stack. River Raid. This has a big crease down the back. Actually, if I noticed that before, I might not have put this in the group. But this is the group we're sending in, so let's go ahead and go through it. There's a corner poke here. Oh, no, there's not actually, sorry. Um, seal looks perfect. Box looks perfect except on the front, except for that uh, crease down the back. Little bubble here from the front. Once again, the same damage it looked like from the case pack when it was originally shipped. So let's say after that crease is pretty bad. Let's say 7.5. 7.5 plus on that. And that's the end of the Atari 2600. Let's get into the 7800s now. The 7800s, there are some really cool and rare ones in here. So I'm kind of excited to show those off. Uh, this one here, not so rare, but... um. Important game. It, it, once again, it was, came out with the Atari 2600 as well, port of the arcade game, but this is, was made for the 7800. So they carried that title all the way through all their systems. This here has a little teeny tension hole on the side, on the foil, I mean on the cellophane. Tension hole there, box looks great. I don't see any damage to that box. Oh, here you go. On the bottom here, you'll see on the corners where there is a... Uh, teeny little creases so that'll knock it down let's say nine nine two or nine four let's say nine four a plus plus on that here you go Don kong jr once again similar to the pac-man uh, junior pac-man once you got started getting further into the titles people started playing them less which actually made the games a little bit more rare because people didn't buy as many of the games and they didn't keep as many of them sealed for later on so you have less of them now than you do let's say the pac-man or miss pac-man or the donkey kong the original donkey kong so some of these junior editions let's say are a little bit harder to find now it's still factory sealed like this there are a few tension pulls here on the cellophane on both sides so that's definitely a b b seal rating big crease down the front here so let's say 7.5 B plus. This one here is actually a little bit more hard to find, a little bit more difficult to find for the 7800. This is Asteroids. Big crease here on the bottom. It looks like a little abrasion on the cellophane. Some tension marks here. I'm oh, sorry, some tension pulls on the cellophane on the side which created a hole. 
kind of a damage to the top of the box. Uh, some tension pulls on the bottom that are pretty bad. I might give that one a, you know, that's going to be a B minus or a C plus seal. Uh, you know, I don't know how much they take off for tension pulls. They're actually not actually tears to the cellophane. They're actually just tension pulling over time, um, pulls it apart at the seam. So, um, if they don't discount it that badly, let's say, let's say a B minus, but I think it's going to be a C seal. Uh, 7.5 B minus. Oh, here's, this is great. Ninja Golf. A lot of people haven't seen this game. Uh, this is the first copy we've seen of this. You know, it's Ninja Golf. How can you go wrong? <laughs> There's no holes in the cellophane anywhere. Cellophane looks great. Ah, there is one. Once again, once again, this is a tension pull in the cellophane. But that's it. Only the one. Couple teeny little teeny ones there, but that really won't affect the grade too much. Uh, this looks like a 9.6 or 9.8. Let's say A rating, um, A seal. So let's say 9.6 or 9.8 A on that one. Here's another really cool one. The Midnight Mutants featuring Grandpa from the Monsters. Yeah. Those of you who don't remember the Monsters, which, you know, I'm one of them. Um, I don't think uh, that was way before my time, but... Uh, Anyway, they made a Atari 7800 game featuring Grandpa. So here it is. And the cellophane looks good. Tension tension holes on the bottom, which is kind of common with these games. Uh, you, you don't want to see it, but just over time, that cellophane heating and contracting and heating you know, and contracting, and it eventually pulls apart where they, where they originally seamed it. This has a couple little dings in the back. So I'm going to say a 9.2 on this one. Uh, has a little thing in the front here on the box. So I'm going to say a 9.2 or 9.0. Let's say a A seal. <clears throat> here you go, Scrapyard Dog. Another game I've never seen before. Um, they are out there. I've just, you know, it's never been in a deal that we've purchased. There's some uh, tension pulls here on the cellophane. On the bottom, it seems to be where they most commonly occur. Box is in good condition. I don't see any dings, damage, creases. I would say a 9.6 or 9.8 on this one. A seal. Winter Games. This is actually a pretty rare one for the 7800. Hopefully it's in great condition. So, box looks good. Cellophane looks great. I don't see any holes, any tension pulls. I don't see any corner pokes. Box looks good. I'm saying 9.8 on this one. I'm saying 9.8 A++. There you go, Impossible Mission. Now, this is another rare one that you rarely see for the uh, Atari 7800. This actually still has the original price sticker on it. Where it was discounted back in the day. To three bucks. All right, there are... Oh, no. Cellophane looks great on this one. Box looks great. I'm thinking this will probably get a 9.6 because of the, the way the corner is right here. I'm thinking this is like a 9.6. 9.6 plus. Oh, here you go. Donkey Kong for 7800. Goes with the Donkey Kong Jr., I guess, that we had earlier. All right. This is a hang tab. Uh, some of these are hang tabs. I don't point that out. Um, for the NES, it matters after Wada grades them whether or not they were hang tabs. With the Atari, I haven't seen a difference in the price yet. But they will be designated as hang tabs on the um, WADA certification label, so um, I don't bother mentioning it. You can see there's a hang tab there if you want. There's a couple of tension pulls here in the cellophane. Other than that, oh, the bottom, bottom of this box is actually not in great condition. You have a couple dings here to the box itself, creases. The, box is, the bottom of the box is bowed a little bit makes the front of the box bowed a little bit once again it looks like the cellophane was put on there too tightly to begin with um this that'll probably knock it down though let's say nine let's say a nine a plus on that here you go miss pac-man woman of the year nine uh for <laughs> 1978 woman of the year for the atari 7800 is what i meant to say um this box looks good it's starting to fold over here on the bottom once again this is a cellophane issue when they pulled the cellophane too tight when they originally sealed it so there are no holes in the cellophane no tension marks so 
this the cellophane on this side looks a little ugly it's not torn or anything so i don't know how that's going to affect the grade let's say a nine two or nine let's say nine two on this one a plus plus desert falcon for the 7800 this one here is in good condition there's a little crease on the bottom other than that there's a tension hole on the side so let's say nine six a barnyard blaster for the 7800 once again a game that you didn't see very often it's starting to pop up a little bit more now still difficult find in this condition um this is the super mint condition here there's a little ding to the corner the words dropped in the corner could be for me like earlier like i said that's why i wear the latex gloves um boxes in good condition other than that cellophane's in great condition i'm gonna say a 96a plus plus on that karateka this one here is actually not in great condition but it looks like it's once again from the cellophane pulling it too tightly over time big crease here on the side that's going to knock it down way below the nine range i'm thinking eight or seven and point five uh and it also creates a crease in the front here ding on the side i'm thinking maybe a seven on this one maybe even lower seven but the the seal is great let's say 7.5 just for kicks seven oh actually you have a huge hole in the seal here at the bottom tension pull on the cellophane so let's say uh 7.5 b it's not a great grade but once again i haven't really seen that game very often miss pac-man once again woman of the year i don't see any problems with the cellophane here looks good box looks great super white back that's important they do yellow sometimes if you store them in correctly i don't see anything wrong with this i'm thinking nine eight a plus plus on that we have two more here to go jinx this game has popped up a little bit more recently um i haven't really seen them over the years but i see a few more now this has a couple big holes in the back um yeah they look like tension holes but from where they are i probably won't get any kind of leeway on that so let's say two holes in the back ding here on the side um the box is is okay it doesn't look fantastic a lot of abrasions to the cellophane so i'm thinking i'm thinking a seven let's say seven b on that and here we are our last one of this particular submission we have another Oh, the Zevius, if I'm saying that correctly. Once again, it's a game I haven't played, but you see them every once in a while. Not terribly common, so I would say this is more on the rare side. Cellophane looks great, a little tension pull here. Let's go knock it down to at least an A, if not a B plus. But other than that, box looks okay. A couple dings here in the corners. I'm gonna say a seven, five, or an eight. Let's say eight, eight B on this one. All right. Okay, well that's that particular submission so we're going to send these in today we're going to hopefully have them back in about four or five weeks and we'll do an unboxing and we'll go through and we'll see how correct we were with our grading and hopefully you know hopefully we were a little more strict than they will be we're hoping to get a lot of nine a's nine sixes out of these but you know we'll see what happens like i said before if you like this video and you like us to go through these submissions with you please leave us some comments in the comment section below and we'll do more videos like this otherwise we'll just go back to the back room and you know go through our submissions like we always do before but if you like them we have no problem doing it this way anyway please remember to subscribe to the videos leave us comments in the comment section below and we hope to see you again here real soon on certified collectibles